Welcome everyone, I'm Tessa Lego. Thank you for joining us for our online 2020 Queensland Landscape Architecture Awards. Now this is our opportunity for us to celebrate all of our award entries and of course the winners. So firstly, we would like to welcome you to this online event. I'm standing by the smoking fire in the valley of the Gurulbun, which has been anglicised to Kurelbun, as some of you might know it. And I call out to the old people, the elders, and the wise ones from times past, who looked after country, who kept the song lines alive, who did the fire stick farming, who looked after the creeks and the riverbeds when the rivers ran dry, who looked after the clear mountain streams and the waterfalls. And I call out to those old people and I thank them for looking after country. And still they watch over us and keep us safe and remind us of the law and the proper way of walking our destiny into the future. And they look around at all those who have come together for their Sailor Awards Night. And then I celebrate with you the amazing talent of all the Ayla practitioners in country. And I thank you for trying to listen to the voice of country. We don't design space and impose it on country. It's already there. We sit in the silence, we stand in bare feet, and we receive what is still alive and intrinsic to the landscape in this ancient land. I thank the old people, and I welcome you, and I welcome those from other countries. I welcome those from other mobs. I acknowledge all the elders who are present at these awards. And I, I thank you for the opportunity to come together with you as we celebrate the work being done by Ayla all around this amazing country. Thank you. We sincerely thank you for welcoming us and I'd also like to pay my respect to the local Indigenous Turrbal and Yugura people, the traditional custodians of the land that we're recording from. Now, this certainly isn't the way we thought we'd be celebrating our awards. To say that we've been thrown some challenges this year across all aspects of life is an understatement. So we look forward to showcasing our 2020 entries and winners in this virtual setting. Now, I hope you have a drink of choice in your hand to celebrate the upcoming awards. Make sure you join our Zoom watch party for the intervals to hear from our winners and also for the chance to win some great sponsor prizes. We want to see you dressed up and perhaps that's just with your best Zoom background on. We'd also love you to share your images of you or your team set up on social media. We'll start the festivities with a few words from our state president, David Ullman, our state principal partner, Eureka Landscapes and jury chair, Deb Robbins. Thank you, Tessa, and thank you everybody for coming tonight. For those of you that don't know me, my name is David Yulman. I'm the current State Chapter President for AILA. The awards program is a key vehicle for the promotion of the achievements and work of landscape architects in Queensland. The process is an opportunity for public and peer recognition of landscape architects' work and demonstrates to industry, business, government and the wider community the positive impact that our profession has on Australian lives. This year we have received 68 entries, a record number of entries for Queensland, and we thank all of the practices who took the time to submit. It is now more important than ever to showcase our profession and the importance of quality open space, green infrastructure, and active transport. Thank you to Ayla's corporate partners, our principal corporate partner, VF Lighting and local distributor Raylink Lighting, national supporting corporate partners, ACO, Brickworks Building Products, Lark Industries, Lawn Solutions Australia, Street Furniture Australia, JLT and Built Environment Channel. 
and our state principal partner, Eureka Landscapes, and state supporting partner, Innovative Rigging. Thank you for making the awards program possible. I'll now hand over to our principal partners. Welcome to the 2020 Landscape Architecture Awards. Eureka Landscapes is very proud to be associated with the event, as we've done on many other occasions. This year, Eureka Landscapes as well had a major celebration in that we celebrated 40 years of landscape construction, delivering projects all over Queensland and New South Wales. It would have been great to have these celebrations in person with you all, but unfortunately with uh, the COVID restrictions, that's not possible. However, I'm sure once they're lifted, we can all get together and enjoy the festivities like we normally do when we have these events. I look forward to seeing all the entries roll through this evening and seeing all the winners. And I hope everyone enjoys the presentation and everyone's celebrating in their own special way, whether it's in their office with their colleagues or at home watching it on the big screen. So once again, Eureka Landscapes is very proud and happy to be associated with this event. Our world has changed dramatically since the call to enter this year's Land Queensland Landscape Architecture Awards. We have all been forced indoors, the term ISO is now widely used, and this has conversely heightened our appreciation for the great outdoors. In contrast to our confinement, we are savouring our big skies and open spaces, filled with birdsong, not aviation noise. And we flock to our local parks and streets to exercise, to get some fresh air. This alteration of daily life has made us all think about our families and the things we value, the places we love and the community we live in. As we are all locally bound, we are reconnecting with our neighbours, moving around in simpler ways, discovering places just around the corner and thinking how some things could be better. This time will be remembered for the difficulties we face together, but it will also be remembered for the opportunities and connections we create. People around Queensland will soon be enjoying, once again, all of the amazing places created by this year's entrance. And the jury love to see the opportunities and connections landscape architects are generating around our state. As landscape architects, we are ideally suited to these times. We connect and bring communities together. We bring comfort by adapting microclimates. We enable fun and learning through play. And we create places that unlock potential and reveals the beauty of our environment and our relationship with it. Looking back over the proceedings, we could see the strength as a profession thematically running through the 14 categories and 68 entries this year. And they centered around our collective need to play, to connect, to unlock potential, to create opportunity, to give back to the community, community and adapt our environment's climate for comfort. One of the largest entry categories categories was parks and open space. It confirmed our love of the outdoors with a vast range and scale of projects that enable play, exercise, enhancement and restoration of the environment. Across the infrastructure and research categories, we are seeing the real value placed on connecting people through active transport, reducing our dependence on cars, which is one of the most important and rewarding aspects of our work, freeing up streets for more public spaces. And in the landscape planning and land management categories, some beautiful, diverse work, connecting people and nature in both poetic and comfortable ways that also take climate into account. The ability for landscape architects to unlock the potential through design and sensitively reveal spaces previously unconceived was def definitely evident in the categories of civic, cultural heritage and urban design and showing community heart through quiet and subtle work that brings comfort and joy came through the community contribution, tourism and small projects categories. The jury was impressed by the depth and breadth of all of the entries and their commitment to ensuring the values of our profession are articulated through the ambitious strategies and great work being built throughout our state. I'd like to thank my fellow jurors, Elena Renata, Peter Nelson, Andrew Prowse and Jared McCormack for making the process both enlightening and enjoyable on the day. The jury extends their congratulations to the well-deserving award winners for a truly inspiring set of projects that will no doubt be enjoyed for generations to come. Awards provide recognition of exceptional practice. An award is confirmation of talent, commitment, and design excellence. 
Awards in each category are based on a two-tier system, a Landscape Architecture Award and an Award of Excellence. The Regional Achievement Award is a cross-category award that recognises achievement in landscape architecture in Queensland's key regions. This is a chapter award only, judged on the significant difference they make to improving healthy communities and built and natural environments of the region. Throughout the past 110 years, the face of building materials has continued to evolve. We're here for a lifetime of living. More than brick, and more than just building products, we are a foundation for today's lifestyle and a leader for today's style. We manufacture a wide range of building products. Products like no other. Beautiful products that stand the test of time. This is Brickworks. The civic landscape entries are Aerodrome Road Intersection Hassel, Anzac Square Restoration and Enhancement Project Tract, Boona Town Centre Revitalisation Mode, Bullock Street Revitalisation Caloundra, Sunshine Coast Council, Hota Green Bridge, Cusp Landscape Architects with Archipelago, Marichidor City Centre Stage 1, MC3, V Design, Track Consultants and Meter. Nicholas Street, Ipswich, V Design. The winner of the Landscape Architecture Award is Hassel for Aerodrome Road Intersection. More than just an intersection upgrade, this is an exercise in urban repair and urban renewal. A project that both cools and connects whilst establishing a framework for future public transport and redevelopment opportunities. The addition of a simple park space with its lightweight, domestically scaled timber structures and civically scaled treescapes provide welcoming shade and relief. This is an exemplar of good Sunshine Coast design, a deceptively simple and well-detailed project far from the rolling surf and cooling breezes that define this unique part of the world. The jury looks forward to seeing ongoing investment in Aerodrome Road as for regionally significant subtropical street that puts people and landscape first. Congratulations. The community contribution entries are Hummingbird House, Saunders Havel Group, Logan Youth Foyer, Place Design Group, Negotioscape, Brisbane's Forgotten Fabric, V-Design and Co-Design Studio. The Landscape Architecture Award goes to Saunders Havel Group for Hummingbird House. Full thought, empathy and energy has gone into creating an engaging and comfortable landscape for play and respite at Hummingbird House, a paediatric hospice facility. The generous delivery of a sequence of richly detailed and planted areas belies the budget. The project outcome is a testament to the comprehensive and collaborative work that has gone into creating an engaging, soothing palliative space. There has been leadership in the landscape architecture to achieve the outcome through multiple coordinated efforts throughout the process. Love from a lot of people has gone into this project. Congratulations. The urban design entries are Milton Urban Common, City Projects Office, Brisbane City Council, Townsville University Hospital Master Plan, Hassel, 
The Landscape Architecture Award goes to City Projects Office, Brisbane City Council for Milton Urban Common. Compact urban parks are critically important as our cities grow. This is a well-designed and welcome addition to an evolving inner city neighbourhood with limited open space amenity. A deceptively simple design that manages to accommodate a range of competing urban and everyday uses, from ball kicking, sausage sizzling, dog walking, kid swinging, and general meet and greets. This is life on the street, not a podium deck. A handsome inner city park that is well grounded in consultation with the community. The jury commends the vision of this place and all agreed we need to see more of these pocket parks on deep soil where high density residential is planned for. Congratulations. We all love spending time in the garden and when it comes to our lawns, they've all got a particular style. We all know the sporty lawn. The for show lawn. Or my personal favourite, the mullet. Business at the front, party out the back. To make sure you buy the right lawn to suit your style, visit the Lawn Solutions Australia website, find your nearest supplier and get a lawn for life. The garden entries are Amira Residence, RPS. Domic Place Design Group Inc. James Bureau Design Lab. Linley Garden Porter Designs. Panorama Residence Smec Australia. Shear Residence Form Landscape Architects in collaboration with Sunland Group. The Yards Form Landscape Architects. Valencia Residence RPS. The first award is a Landscape Architecture Award to RPS for Valencia Residences. The Valencia Residences is a fine example of what the gardens of high-rise apartments should be as urban life becomes increasingly denser. Strong collaboration between disciplines is evident in the creation of a strong sculptured pattern landscape setting. The project is beautifully detailed, expressive and embracing of a Brisbane subtropical climate at both street and rooftop levels. Apartment living is presented as a viable and social multi-generational lifestyle that includes young children. The incorporation of stylish play spaces is commendable and the jurors were hoping the sliding tunnel between the levels is accessible and fun for adults as well. Congratulations. The second award is an award of excellence to Place Design Group and James Birrell Design Lab for Domic. A rock star of a garden, but a star with environmental cred. The Domic Garden blurs the interface of site, landscape and building with the garden as architecture and architecture as the garden. Challengingly sited adjoining Noosa National Park, the project embraces and allows itself to be sculpted and engulfed by forms and vegetation of the Sunshine Beach. Leadership from the landscape architects included innovative thought and solved complex problems of constructing curved roofed gardens and green walls and multifaceted weathered steel facades. Designed as a self-reliant eco-layer, Domic is a fine example of how uber luxury living can integrate into the environment rather than being imposed upon it. The jury commends the client for his commitment to the process and outcome, as patronage of this type drives innovation into the mainstream. Congratulations. Please join us in the interval now to hear from our winners.
Our human habitats increasingly become subject to extreme weather phenomena. As a result, the control of heavy storms becomes paramount. By this, our lives are affected in vital areas, and planners and building owners are faced with major challenges. Any questions? Ask ACO. ACO, creating the future of drainage. The infrastructure entries are Brookwater Drive, Dress Circle, Form, Landscape Architects, Caboolture to Woomeran Rail Trail, Moreton Bay Regional Council, Hota Green Bridge, City of Gold Coast, Cusp Landscape Architects with Archipelago, Mangrove Walk and Bicentennial Bikeway, Cusp Landscape Architects. The winner of the Landscape Architecture Award is Moreton Bay Regional Council for Caboolture to Woomeran Rail Trail. The Caboolture to Woomeran Rail Trail demonstrates a great investment in active transport infrastructure. It seamlessly provides a clever resolution of pedestrian and cycle conflict, whilst also celebrating the history of the region. The rail trail network will be widely used by local communities and touring cyclists. With design detailing that is both modest and sturdy, the rail trail signature infrastructure sits well within the local landscape character while still achieving a highly functional community outcome. The jury commends the way the rail trail does not replicate road infrastructure, but provides a simple and visually recessive trail experience to enjoy the surrounding landscape. Congratulations. The land management entries are Moon Mountain Sanctuary V Design, Mount Cuthar Enhancement Program, City Projects Office, Brisbane City Council, Small Creek Naturalisation Stage 1 and 2, Landscapology and Bly Tanner, Spring Mountain Saunders Havel Group. An award of excellence for land management goes to Landscapology and Bly Tanner for Small Creek Naturalisation Stage 1 and 2. Demonstrating absolute excellence in landscape architectural planning and design, a Small Creek Naturalisation project has much to be proud of. It demonstrates a true collaborative effort between landscape architects, engineers and stakeholders to achieve an outcome that is both highly functional and also beautiful. The project employs clever use of recycled materials, such as concrete fragments used to frame the inversion channel, whilst placing them artistically and creatively to create more than simply another creek corridor. The ecological achievements of this land management project are exemplary. The project team should be rightfully proud of the precedent they have set for all future creek naturalisation projects. Congratulations. The landscape planning entries are Inter-Urban Break Outdoor Recreation Plan, LAT 27, in collaboration with Alliance Planning, John Gaskell Planning Consultants and EcoShore, Mackay Waterfront Master Plan, Place Design Group, New Noosa Plan, Track and Noosa Shire Council, Sanctuary Cove Landscape Management Plan, Form Landscape Architects, the Mill Guidelines, Moreton Bay Regional Council. The Spit Public Realm Guidelines, Tract. Urban Tree Canopy, Cover Study Gold Coast, Arup. There are two winners. The Landscape Architecture Award for Landscape Planning goes to Arup for the Urban Tree Canopy, Cover Study Gold Coast. The Urban Tree Canopy Cover Study is a critical piece of literature that has been missing from the Gold Coast equation. 
With a growing population and increasing development in the Gold Coast region, this study makes rigorous analysis and judgment on the effects of both increased and decreased tree canopy. The tools employed to measure and report on tree canopy cover are both scientific and innovative, in that they consider not only ecological aspects of the issue, but also social impacts. The project team should be proud of the contribution they have made to planning for unprecedented climate changes by providing a baseline document for understanding urban heat island effects in the Gold Coast area. Congratulations. A Regional Achievement Award for the Sunshine Coast goes to LAT27 in collaboration with Alliance Planning, John Gaskell Planning, Consultants and EcoShore for the Inner Urban Break Outdoor Recreation Plan. This recreation plan focuses on one of the most highly visited landscapes in Queensland, one which is under pressure from increased urban sprawl and densification of development amongst a number of natural landscapes. The recreation plan carefully addresses these contested landscapes, demonstrating a strong understanding of the natural values that occur alongside social, cultural and recreational perspectives from local communities. The jury commends the plan for also providing land managers with a seamless guide that focuses on working together to best protect the natural environment whilst balancing community uses. Congratulations. The play space entries are Bimbimba Park Play Space Form Landscape Architects, Caloundra Christian College Junior School Play Space Green Edge Design Consultants, Hercules Street Park Playground Turf Design Studios and Environmental Partnership, Raintree Play Space, St Gerard Magella Primary School Land Plan Landscape Architects. The winner of the Landscape Architecture Award is Green Edge Design Consultants for Caloundra Christian College Junior School Play. This is a skillfully executed play and learning setting. It involves clever use of multiple layers, vertical play, and exploration through its rooms to maximize the effectiveness of play and engagement. Despite its small space, it is diverse in its offerings and connects seamlessly to the adjoining built form and learning spaces. In doing so, it exposes the play space to internal and external viewing points, putting play and excitement at the heart of the school. The jury saw this as an adventurous design and delivery that included strong consultation with staff and students and the all-important post-occupancy evaluation. Congratulations. The research policy and communication entries are Negotioscapes, Brisbane's Forgotten Fabric, V-Design and Co-Design Studios. Sunshine Coast Design Strategy and Book, Sunshine Coast Council. The Landscape Architecture Award goes to Sunshine Coast Council for the Sunshine Coast Design Strategy and Book. This is not a document for designers. It is a must read for anyone who invests in or has a policy oversight for the health and well-being of not only the Sunshine Coast, but for all of Queensland. The Sunshine Coast design strategy enables a simple set of design principles to guide a new era of place-based decision-making in a fast-growing region. In a world of pandemics, fires or floods, cyclones or drought, these principles are must-haves and should be embedded in the strategic framework of the Sunshine Coast planning scheme for the benefit of many people and places that call Sunshine Coast home, both now and into the future. Congratulations. 
Please join us in the interval now to hear from our winners.
parks and open space entries are Archerfield Wetlands Parkland, Place Design Group, Ascot Park, City Projects Office, Brisbane City Council, Bimbimba Park, Form Landscape Architects, Doug Larson BMX and Skate Park 2020, Logan City Council, Fay Car Park, Eco Ripley, Saunders Havel Group, Hercules Street Park, Turf Design Studios and Environmental Partnership. Pebble Creek Parklands, SLR Consulting Australia. Peter Tullett Memorial Park, V Design. The Surrounds Stage 1, Helensvale, Gold Coast, SMEC Australia. Victoria Park Vision, LAT 27 and Brisbane City Council. Waterline Park, Cusp Landscape Architects. The winner of the Landscape Architecture Award is... Form Landscape Architects for Bimbimba Park. The park reflects a very well executed and impeccably detailed hub of play for the Gold Coast community that is rich, exciting and detailed in its history. It is underpinned by simple design principles that respond carefully to its setting and deliver a range of spaces for active play and recreation. Bimbimba represents an ongoing investment over many years which illustrates trust and clear communication between landscape architect, client, and local authority to ensure a vision can be realized. Congratulations. Health and Education Landscape Entries are Avio Newstead, JFP Urban Consultants, Boondal Wetlands Environmental Centre, City Projects Office, Brisbane City Council, Griffith University Pedestrian Spine, Form Landscape Architects, QUT Education Precinct and Pedestrian Spine, Kelvin Grove Campus, TCL with Wilson Architects and Henning Larson. The Hills District All Abilities Playground, Moreton Bay Regional Council. The University of Queensland Community Garden, St Lucia, LAT 27 in collaboration with DWP Architecture. We have two winners of the Landscape Architecture Award for Health and Education Landscape. The winners are TCL with Wilston Architects and Henning Larson for QUT Education Precinct and Pedestrian Spine. The jury considered this project to be a good landscape and architectural marriage with a consistent level of design quality and resolution. The divergent mix of informal and formal planting strategies results in a rich tapestry of linking and placemaking opportunities, both large and small in scale. From the recreation of an open sclerophyll forest setting to the making of a cool rainforest room, this project seeks to blur the boundaries and edges between the inside and out. The involvement of staff at the Ujuru unit in the co-design process is key to the success of this project. The jury commends QT for investing in a contemporary landscape setting with a strong indigenous understanding. Congratulations. The second award for the Landscape Architecture Award for Health and Education Landscape goes to LAT 27 in collaboration with DWP Architecture, University of Queensland Community Garden, St Lucia. Whether in the education or health sectors, the humanising of large institutional campuses is a worthwhile pursuit and the jury commends the University of Queensland for its ongoing commitment in breaking down the walls that divide campuses and communities. The making of a productive landscape is an important and symbolic gesture. 
Spaces like these succeed because of the goodwill and hard work of volunteers, people who seek out both companionship and fertile ground. Whilst recognising the project's goal of uplifting the university's profile through the delivery of spaces that underpin its community and sustainability values, the jury encourages UQ to look beyond its branding and marketing objectives to ensure this space is loved by all. Congratulations. The small project entries are Buchanan Park War Memorial, Moreton Bay Regional Council, Caloundra Christian College Junior School Play Space, Green Edge Design Consultants, Flower Street Office, Fred Street, St Ambrose Prep School Playscape V Design, The Mill Interim Activation Archipelago. The winner of the Landscape Architecture Award is Fred Street for Flower Street Office. Gardens on street corners are often neglected spaces when residences are converted into offices. At Flowers and Buckle Streets, a new office in a characterful house for the Mercy Partners now contributes beautifully to the streetscape and building while creating a series of lovingly appointed outdoor rooms. Great depth of interpretation has been achieved in the garden, bringing together the client, clientele, and the history of the Mercy Sisters. There is sensitive and beautiful artwork resulting from the collaboration and mentorship between the landscape architect and three female indigenous artists. A particularly good result achieved on a limited budget. The garden is a great gift to staff, clients, and the neighborhood. Congratulations. The tourism entries are Bowen Townscape and Entry Improvements, SLR Consulting, Quangarela Day Use Area Redevelopment, SMEC Australia, Ipswich Nature Centre V Design. The winner of the Landscape Architecture Award is V Design for Ipswich Nature Centre. This project reflects a well-considered response to upgrading an unusual community asset. Ensuring its popularity is considered as a long-term investment for the city. The importance of the upgrade of the Nature Centre is part of the broader Queen's Park complex and it caters for a growing population and reinforces a diverse open space. It incorporates arts, culture, heritage and ecological educational experience for the community and visitors as part of the reimagining of a regional heritage town. Congratulations. The cultural heritage entries are Anzac Square Restoration and Enhancement Project, Tract. City Botanic Gardens, Hills Avenue Boardwalk, City Projects Office, Brisbane City Council, Wiley Park Heritage Master Plan, Moreton Bay Regional Council. An award of excellence for Cultural Heritage goes to City Projects Office for City Botanic Gardens, Hills Avenue Boardwalk. A beautiful, simple and elegant piece of landscape architecture nestled into its setting. This is a clever response that has unlocked a once lost landscape to become usable once again. 
a very contemporary response to working under and around heritage trees. The project takes the Queensland deck vernacular into a civic scale, in keeping with the size and grandeur of the figs that sit over it. A deceptively simple and elegant solution that gives so much to the city by opening up this place to become all inclusive and open to all combinations of activity both day and night. The jury wholeheartedly agrees this was a stunning piece of landscape architecture. Congratulations. At Greenstock Nurseries, we've been raising, sourcing, and supplying plants to the commercial sector for the past 35 years. We offer consistency, reliability, sustainability, and across 80 hectares at our Alimba site and our advanced stock and tropical division at Mackay, Greenstock Nurseries are dedicated to quality. Greenstock, growing today for a greener tomorrow. So that concludes our 2020 online awards ceremony. Thank you very much to all of our entrants and congratulations to all of our winners. Thank you also to our 2020 awards jury and our corporate partners for their support. But don't go anywhere, make sure you join us all in the Zoom after party and I'll see you all soon. Thank you.